Hey, I'm Sam and um, I'm a singer um, for this progressive metal band called Fire Proven. I've uh, been in a band for a bit more, a bit over a year now. Yep, haven't done any gigs yet because of the uh, pandemic, but we'll get there, I hope. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, my name is Bini and um, I, I am a singer, singer-songwriter in a band called Blame Me and um, uh, Blame Me is a alternative rock modern metal fusion <laughs> band um, and um, we are we have uh, just released two, two new singles. Yes, I'm the founder of Smackdown, a singer-songwriter in the metal band from Finland, and uh, currently also working with uh, with duet album with Nora Lauhima. As you know, uh, the male uh, the metal scene is a little bit male-dominated, and that's also clear by looking at your your bands, except for your duo with. Uh, uh, Nora, of course, um, but as lead singers of your band and the only women, how do you find the balance between your womanhood and being in a band full of guys? Um, yeah, it's a hard question. Um, I still think it's a bit difficult for women in the industry today because, yeah, there's not a lot of us, as you said, uh, even in bands. And I guess I just try to be myself and not think about the genders too much um, yeah I think I found the balance now but it hasn't been easy always for me but yeah it would be super cool though to have another woman in a band someday <laughs> I've also tried to find the place place inside a band and try to maybe like uh, as a step Establish, establish an equality within the within the band. Um, I believe also there's like certain privileges in in being a, a woman in a band, or, or maybe like be, being the singer songwriter uh, in the band, because then you can be the representative uh, and and uh, write write about you know, like your own experiences. Yeah, so uh, I, the question was, was it, is it hard? Well, yeah, or, or what was it how did you find a balance? But yeah. was it hard for you? I think about people as being individuals and we all have our, you know, the good things about us and the, and the not so good things about us and, and that exists in all of us. And I think it's more about, I don't think about me being a woman or a man, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I, I, I am a human being, that's all. Uh, and I really just think like that towards everyone else as well. So I just uh, take things as they are and cope with individuals differently. So I haven't found, um, personally, I haven't found any uh, difficulties in being me somewhere. Do you feel like you are part of the, the guys or? Uh, no, I don't try to be part of the guys. I'm, I'm part of the group, yes. I'm part of the team as in five of us. Uh, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think of it as being par part of the guys or trying to be a guy in a, in a band. Um, uh, I'm, I might be 10,000 other things, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, but of course we, we, in a, in a way I am part of the guys because there's five individuals plus all, plus all the other people that work with, with us, but, but we're, there's five of us and we are kind of well together quite well. So, so yeah, I'm part of the team, but am I, am I a guy? I don't, I don't try to fit in like that. So they have to cope with my stuff and they have to, and I have to cope with their stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe also like if you, if you think about like 
being one of the guys, if meaning being one of the guys means that um, you do the same amount of work as all other people uh, in the band in uh, when you are in gigs, when you are um, carrying stuff and uh, helping in um, uh, in in a songwriting or like promotion promotion and everything then yeah yeah it's um i i i believe it's just um working working with individuals as as netta uh says said um it's it's just important to find your like your your own place uh and every each person's own like uh personal um uh, personal strengths because that's that's what it is. Yeah, like Vinny, you said, like mm, when I think about uh, this, uh, one of the guys, I do believe in equality and people doing the same amount of work. And exactly like you said, if that's being one of the guys, yes, I'm one of the guys. But I feel like this term of that we use, one of the guys, uh, somehow holds in itself some kind of um, suppressing of femi femininity that you have. And in that, if, if I think about, think about it that way around, then I don't feel like one of the guys because I've never had to suppress anything that I have. So, and I, I've kind of worked hard within myself not to suppress myself, not to trying to kind of be something that others like. I'm trying, I, I, I've fought my way to being me, however awful I might be to some, someone else, but that's that's what I'm I'm trying to work for. That I I keep my own balance, and then then uh, I just uh, deal with the individual people. But for me, the term is kind of like you said. We don't know what the term is, but I feel that there's some kind of suppression of femininity. Like you're trying to kind of hide it a little bit from the group. So if we are talking about this one, then then uh, I definitely don't, uh, I'm not one of the guys. Yeah, same here. I mean, yeah, as I said, I'm just trying to be myself and like not think about the genders too much. But um, yeah, I think it's also about uh, other people's or like guys' attitudes towards you. Um, I mean, I, I don't have any problems in my band, but I have had some problems uh, like years ago in my previous bands because maybe the guys don't know how to be around you, how to act, how to talk to you because you're a woman and they, you know, they can't talk all their guy stuff or whatever. And I mean, I don't mind them talking whatever they want to talk, but like, yeah, that has been a problem, but it was years ago, so all good now. <laughs> Also, a comment on on what uh, San, San, Sanna said. Uh, uh, I've I've noticed that sometimes, or or like with with some previous previous um, uh, in some previous uh, like brand brand projects, um, there ha might have been some women degrading uh, words used. And that's something that, like, I I really can't stand. So, so um, that that's something that I have I have had to, like, comment on uh, when when that has that has happened. Uh, of course, like when I've said it, um, people have underst understood that. Yeah, maybe maybe using a certain word can be problematic. Um, because they have just uh, they they've just uh, thought that like between like speaking with the guys um, the, um, they don't maybe use that much thought on uh, the words used. Actually, now that we're talking about um, different words used and such, as a journalist, I sometimes also have to edit a lot of. Um, adjectives, for instance, that, that journalists use to write about women, such as, you know, angelic, cute, adorable, or, you know, also one of the guys, or you know, 
a lot of things. How do you feel that women are represented in media in general, in music media? Yeah, well, um, it's it's a little like two-edged sword, I believe. It's um, like there there are advantages um, uh, for uh, for uh, being be, being a woman in media, but if it means that um, the only thing people see is, for example, your your um, looks, that's that's not uh, what I want as a as a like women women in women in rock um i i want that uh, there's certain kind of like a respect for the art that i'm doing so so uh the main point is that i want to know want people to know me from my music so from 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 the music i make and uh, sometimes words like yeah like cute and adorable they are a little bit degrading uh, because they can like belittle uh, the the like your effort on it and that's that's uh, like not what i want a lot of the same stuff has been said uh i gosh i really don't think about being a woman in media i i don't know if there's something wrong with me that i don't i don't kind of live in this i i live in this in a little bubble of freedom uh, uh that i have uh like inner freedom from genres and uh, i don't i don't really i feel that i'm as i have a as much female or femininity in me than the masculine part. So I don't, I kind of feel that like I'm both. So I don't think about myself as being, as being a woman in the media. I don't even think of myself as being in media. I'm just uh, doing stuff, but I haven't, um, okay, there's sometimes, I kind of let things fly a lot. I don't care about if, if somebody says, no one's, I don't take them personally. I don't think, that people are trying to hurt me or polit me by saying that uh, something is angelic or something is cute. I just let it fly a, a lot, uh, and also the like kind of backflashing words. If if people are saying bad stuff, I let it fly also, unless it's that bad that I have to uh, report it to the police. <laughs> But otherwise, I just let a lot of things just go because the way we are acting in, in social media these days is like people just, they kind of write everything and they don't think about it too much. So you get the good and the bad. So, and just analyzing every word that people say is kind of, it takes too much of my energy away. So I don't do that. But basically how I cope with media and if it's someone Uh, in the production side or, or the label or something they would like if they if they've ever said like uh, can you take some sexy pictures I just uh, kind of uh, I just let them know that you're getting pictures and I never address the sexiness because that's ridiculous but but in a, in a way that I act I kind of draw the line of how people can talk to me so they never do it twice so they it's kind of I do think that we as individuals hold the, we, we just have to hold our own crown and draw the line of how people talk to us and how they react to us. Because if we don't do that, uh, then how could they know? It's kind of, I, I, I'd like women to have more responsibility in a way for stopping this kind of talk, the hate talk, the sexist talk, the, all of this. It's kind of up to us to own it. The second it's like, I'm going to work with you and then stop. You're not to talk to me like that. And if that doesn't help, then you just have to walk away. But usually it stops in that second that you just hold your ground, say like, 
not the way to talk to me and and kind of steer the people to uh, to um, behave around you the way you like so usually they don't ever try twice if they if they have done a mistake the first time talking to you uh, in a way that is not correct yeah I totally agree and I'm thinking about this I think I do remember reading articles like this in the past, you know, using all the uh, cute, angelic, whatever, girly words or whatever. Uh, but um, I can't remember reading much of, much of those lately, like especially when it comes to metal music, maybe in some other genres like pop or stuff like that. But I think it's gotten better, maybe. It's not a thing anymore as much as it used to be. Girls yeah. can be not cute <laughs> i don't know yeah, i also think that like if if the words angelic cute adorable are being used those need to come directly from the artist themselves so like they can they can own the words if they want to but like um if the if it's just like pushed the thought yeah. that then um depending on the situation it's it might be like, difficult <laughs> yeah but it's, it's i'm thinking like if, if if someone for example is using angelic as an adjective uh to the sound like mm. you're singing uh yeah. like this part sounds angelic then there's nothing bad about it but because that's uh, mm. how uh, how else could you like, let a kind of describe that feeling if you get this feeling like it's it's in, it's sung in an angelic way i don't feel like it's like okay now they're thinking i'm, I'm a woman and now like i don't i don't then i think it's suitable because what else yeah. word would describe it better than that one because they've they've got the feeling but of course if, if you're if you're referred to looking like like a looking angelic that's kind of well who wants to discuss like our uh, appearance uh, appearances at all so uh, first of all that's that's something that i don't feel that is often talked about that people actually comment okay in social media they do but if, if we're talking about media they don't comment on the looks uh and in there it might be inappropriate but if they are talking about uh, the music and they're trying to find the adjectives to to kind of uh, tell it and subscribe the music then uh, I, I I think it's fine for me it's it's fine angelic is a word and I, I get a hang of it like what do you mean when you say that some something sounds angelic it's it's very hard if we kind of lose all the adjectives that we have in order to clear every kind of if we're so afraid of using these kind of you using words that might have something to do with genres i don't know there's like aren't men angels too <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's, it doesn't say that it's a woman if it's angelic <laughs> it, it can it can be you know <laughs> so i i'm not so worried about this and overall we have a lot less of this in metal than in other music genres. So in a way, working in metal scenes uh, is, a lot, is a lot more equal uh, music genre than, than other genres, I think. So we don't, have to, we don't have to kind of work within the same limits and, and kind of we don't have to do things the same way. And we are being a lot less bossed around uh, than maybe in other genres, like how women feel like in pop music might be a whole different story. Yeah, um, I think so too. Um, Sana, um, you mentioned also that you think um, it has changed a little bit around. Do you think that the Me Too movement had also an effect on the metal scene in general? Uh, well, I think Me Too, has affected the whole world but um I don't know like has there been any other like huge me too things going on in metal than 
Marilyn Manson and the uh, uh, last year there was this uh, John Finberg or what's his name? Yeah, yeah, that was going on. Yeah, but I don't know if there have been any other cases than those, but I, yeah, it's a hard question. I don't know really. <laughs> Um, well, now that you mentioned Merlin Manson, I was wondering what you think about uh, cancel culture, like, you know, when someone like Merlin Manson has these certain allegations surrounding him, do you feel like as a woman, and you know what he has possibly done, can you separate the artist from his art? Or do you think that people should drop his music and labels should drop the artist too? Do you think that's good that those things are happening in general? Uh, uh, I I think it's a good thing that uh, this canceling thing is happening. I don't I don't want to support uh, even if the music is good. I don't want to support people that are bad to other people. Uh, there's nothing that great in music if the groundings are are kind of rotten. So there is a lot of music. So. I cancel out people and artists that uh, that truly have done bad things to others, uh, and uh, with also this uh, like uh, John Finberg, uh, which is an agent uh, that that Sanna told about uh, that happened last year, uh, and um, that came out. There was a lot of sexual abuse uh, and. Uh, that's one main reason that I, um, because I knew knew about it before this came out, uh, so I refused to work with him. I never wanted to work with him because of this thing. I wasn't afraid that it would happen to me. It might have happened to me, but I canceled him out uh, just in general. Uh, but I didn't want to work with a person like that that has a history of abusing other people. Um, yeah, I I I, I feel, feel that feel the same as as Anetta. And uh, if we are the the only only small um, thing like that that is uh, like conflict that might be like that. Why I find why. I'm sorry, <laughs> why I would feel like conflicted about this is that um, if the uh, cancellation is based on, for example, one, th one specific thing that has happened um, tens of years ago and uh, like, so, so if there is no like possibility to fix or, or like uh, the person to have already fixed uh, their actions uh, but but of course like in 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 the cases of uh, like Marilyn Manson and and um, and uh, others there there is so much like ev evidence so so um, if if there's like so if there's people who have experienced i i never want to um question question uh people if they come out with their with their experiences and uh i want i want to uh support uh the people instead of the artists that are um like doing uh bad things to people I just uh, uh, was thinking about, of course, there has to be because the Me Too can, uh, Me Too has also uh, affected a lot. That we kind of very lightly uh, turn on people. So, like Bini said, there has to be proof. I don't believe in well. I believe in second chances, of course. So this has to be something that is proven and it is a it, it 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 tells about the person we all do mistakes and i don't know if if something that you've done when you're drunk when you're 20 and can't remember anything and then it comes up 20 years 
after that, uh, and nobody really knows what really happened, uh, then I don't know how to kind of how to deal in those situations. I'm not. I'm not saying that we should just you know uh, kill them all every time something happens. Like why, why we, we should be the first one to throw the stones. No, we shouldn't. There has to be proof, and there has to be like I'm. I'm talking about people that have been caught up doing this time after time. So it's a pattern how they uh, how they kind of um, are abusing other people. It's not like, because all of us can be, you know, if we just start throwing stones at each other, we all get killed because, uh, you know, you can then, where's the, where's the limit of what's, what's humane and what's, what's kind of, what ha I don't know where the limit is if, if we, we, if we start thinking about this. So like Vinny said, there has to be, it has to be real. It has to tell about the character, the persona that, that this behavior is kind of in him or her. And, and we shouldn't just uh, talk about every mistake we all have made in our lives. Like, uh, so there, the, there has to be some kind of thought behind it. And Me Too has, it, it has brought a lot of good stuff. It has brought a lot of like uh, empowerment to women to talk about these things. Uh, and, but it has also caused this, um, I think the time now is that everybody is scared to say anything because they feel that they will be immediately kind of judged if they say the wrong word in, 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 in some shooting or something like, like, oh my God, did I say that? I didn't mean it that way. And I feel it's like everybody is kind of on their toes right now. Like, what can we say and what is understood as a joke? And so we are kind of really timid in, in using any words now. And, and kind of, in a way, it has taken away, away the humor because people are scared, like, where, where's the limit? But of course, this is a really positive thing uh, that it comes out. And I really hope that we learn from it so that we can stop the behavior right when it happens and not afterwards. So that's what I'm asking from, from myself and for other women, like we, we stand our crown the second this happens and, and not take anything in and, and kind of victimize ourselves and, and come forward later. We have to be the kind of the warriors in that moment. I totally agree. And um, yeah, I just like, I have nothing to add, but I uh, just wanted to say that I don't want to support any kind of action like that neither so yeah I've been listening to like Marilyn Manson since I was a teenager so obviously it's like if I if I get the feeling like oh I would like to hear that song like what what to do should I just listen to the song or just like no I don't want to support him but obviously I already have all the CDs and stuff so like yeah I don't know I don't know yeah I have to think about it yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, unfortunately, that half an hour is, is kind of went really fast. Um, but I still want to ask one question. Um, so is there, do you think that there is still something that needs to change in the metal and music industry for it to be super optimal for women and that everything is like equal and the way it is? Yeah, well, maybe some people's attitudes, especially like some old guys, I guess. And um, like, it would be cool to have more metal musicians, like female metal musicians. It would be, it would be a good thing. And I think everything would change if that happened. But yeah, I don't know how to get more female metal musicians. I think we have to like encourage women to listen to more metal music and like start playing guitar or singing or whatever yeah but that would be cool i believe it's quite a lot uh connected to the presentation of like how many like female musicians for example are in um a rock and metal festivals and for example if i if i think about my my 
my past and me growing up like when i when i was uh uh, fifteen t- teenager. Uh, I used to listen to a lot of like symphonic metal bands, female fronted uh, metal, uh, melodic metal, and and I always like wanted to listen to like music with like women because I was able to identify myself also uh, with them. I I I also think that that is like one thing that needs needs to change uh, i believe if we give exposure then there's like people who are like willing more willing to uh like participate and they there's also like people um who who are able then think like okay uh she's there so maybe i could be too yeah i think it's about <clears throat> Are they getting more more women into metal? I think that we have a nice group of singers uh, in metal, and I think there's a lot there's lots of uh, uh, women uh, singing this style. Maybe not in the bands at the moment, but there's up they're up and coming, and uh, I think there's a lot of a lot of um, talent in there uh, in women in metal uh, and. Th- but, but the thing is, to be any kind of a musician, you have to be uh, good at it. Um, I think the, the thing about not having more female musicians, like let's say, let's say guitarists, uh, is that uh, maybe they 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 are not in that level because metal music is very technical in a way that li- like the guitar the guitarist played in a very technical way and i think there's a bit of a difference in in um, in women growing up uh where maybe more prone to i don't know but to grow our mental side and we kind of when when we're when we're kids, we we do different things maybe, and the guys just just stay in their room and uh, and uh, play and play and play. So right at the moment, why there's not more of a great uh, lead guitarists in metal that are women is that maybe they're not in this at the same level uh, than the guys are now because I, I believe in in equality. I don't I I don't believe that there's a any any kind of hidden uh, union here that the, that the women won't get up uh, into the bands, uh, no matter what their talent is. Yes, they will. I, I totally believe that the word, world is ready and they are willing for women to play everything. But the, they're just they are not at the moment at the same level. There's not so much female. Of course, there's great female. And musicians, but I, I'm just saying that if if they they're not in the bands, then I, I do believe that there has been a fair addition uh, to these uh, bands, and the best one has gotten the role, uh, the be- the the one who plays it best and suits the band best. So this is like in every you know if you have a job interview, interview these are basically the things that yeah that are expected from you. So I I really just hope that uh, women just practice and practice and play more and uh, get to the same level uh, of technic- technicality that, that usually is, is inside the metal uh, music. So for me, this is just a thought that, that I don't wanna, this is in no way to diss women. This is me being open about that I believe in equality here. And, and it's, it's a tough job to be the guitarist or a, a drummer in a metal band. So, so I don't know. I don't know what, 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 what could you practice more? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I suck in playing uh, drums <laughs> and, and, and basically everything. So, so, so uh, I wouldn't be up to that, but I've, I've used my life uh, uh, to sing, so to, practice my own voice so I, I think there's a lot of up-and-coming women musicians that 
have what it takes to be up on that stage in metal and kill it with whatever instrument they have chosen. But I, I'm just talking about, in my point of view, uh, the age I am and you are, maybe there's not enough women to pick from uh, to be, because if we, if, if we check how many males there are playing guitars and what little proportion of them are in the bands, uh, so there must be the same kind of uh, same kind of thing happening in 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 women also, like we say we see the same per percentage of greatness in the bands. So that can't be much because I think it's still like guys play more guitar. They 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 do play more when they kids they they want to buy a guitar and start playing and maybe females want to sing more. Yeah, if I if I comment on this. Uh... Uh, I, I I do think that uh, al always the main thing, like when when selecting a person to your band, is uh, the like uh, for example the level level of uh, level level of the skill. Uh, but um, the fact fact why there are not as many like female musicians. Uh, in metal bands, I believe it's more of the, the like depends more of the fact that they're just um, at the moment uh, are not that many uh, guitar players, uh, as you meant the ratio. Uh, but then we need to also think about why that is. Like why why is there so little amount of uh, uh, female guitarists? Um, learning uh, metal or uh, rock, and why there is so many, uh, so 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 little of like uh, drummers, women, female drummers or uh, female bass players, or so. So is it because there is no representation? So is it because there is no is is there there isn't anyone to look up to? So, uh, because uh, when uh, we've grown up, or like when when I, I grew up, uh, I I saw the Amy Lee singing in Evanescence. There was Women in Temptation, uh, Tarja Turunen in Nightwish. There was women in metal, but uh, like I, I believe, just um, within last year, we've seen some like for example female guitar players and and female uh drummers they are still there's still very little of people who to look up to so there isn't it's it's difficult because you always like when when you grow up you reflect yourself to others you you try to like find a common ground to find people, people to look up to, and it's more easier to easier to look up to people who you identify with. But uh, I hope this is. Um, I, I, I truly hope that there is. Um, um, if 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 you look to the future, uh, there there would be like more people to look up to and. So, so uh, the uh, w uh, women uh, or like uh, girls growing up might see that, okay, there's also a place for me because there's a place for that person. Yeah, I, that's, uh, that's an interesting point of view, really, uh, like uh, finding the ones that you can look up to. But it's also interesting in a way that I don't understand a woman or a girl can look up to, like, what does it have to do with the genre uh, of the person who is playing it on guitar? Like, it's hands. Uh, I looked up to when I was a lot of uh, male singers, uh, and I didn't realize that uh, I'm not the same because basically I am. 
So it's just like, why would we have to have women uh, to look up to? If we, if we like someone who plays guitar, why can't we just decide that I'm going to be like that also? Like, it doesn't have to do anything with the genre of the person because we all have the same hands. So for me, for me, it's interesting kind of that we, we that we'd have to have women to, to kind of play ourselves and, and be, be strong enough to, to kind of go there ourselves because I just think of us as people and uh, if I like someone singing, I go for it and whether it's, it's a male voice or a female voice and the same I think an even better or even easy, much easier way is to just pick the one guitarist that you love and start practicing so that you become better than he or she is better whatever that means there's no be betterness but you know as good as 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 someone that you look up to so so for me i i think about like this and but that's that's an interesting talk and i think we could talk, talk about this like an hour like how we see do we actually stay in our our, our own own kind of a female uh and male kind of pockets of of the world or don't we so it's it's an interesting how how everything is perceived from the perception that we have so that's that's it this would be a you know another hour so <laughs> maybe not go there more but i just wanted to comment on this because i found it interesting that Vinny, you you felt like that would that would have to be like a female that you could look up to because i haven't i don't believe that kids uh, are so strongly kind of limiting themselves to to one of these uh, female or male uh, genres, uh, but they are just uh, trying to figure out the world as as human beings, and and I think we should just reinforce that vision of that you are just a human being and you can do whatever human beings can do. So I hope that would be the future. Yeah, me too. I really hope that will be the future. But I think the thing is why there aren't any more like female metal guitarists or whatever is uh, the fact that like one of the reasons is that female are often very perfectionists. It's like they have to be perfect and even though people wouldn't like... Um, they, they didn't have to be perfect, but they think that people are expecting them to be perfect. And that's like, that might be one of the reasons that they don't even apply for a band or, you know, start doing their thing because they don't feel, they might feel that they're not good enough. I think that's like one thing, but there are, of course, there are many reasons, but yeah. Yeah, true. Well, I guess uh, considering it's been almost 50 minutes, so I don't want to keep you going. Uh, you can enjoy the rest of your story. We will never stop! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess the a nice way to end this would be if there is no female representation. I'm, I'm glad that you three at least will be part of, you know, the next generation to have some kind of a role model for female women who are interested in metal or kids or whatever, um, regardless of their gender. So, um, and with that, I wish you a very nice day. And well, I hope this was interesting for you as well. So thank you so much for being here today. Thanks thank for you, Laureline. Thank you.